What up guys, Noi here. Thanks for watching my channel. And as a follow up to my last video about, um, what did I draw? An. She's still back there. Yes. Uh, I decided to do another Persona character. I'm gonna be drawing Ryuji Sakamoto. Uh, I don't know if there's any fans out there for this character, but I'm gonna draw him anyway, um, because he looks cool. So, the last one, I had a lot of fun drawing, so I thought I would do another one. Uh, and this one was also fun, but not so much fun. Not as fun, I would say, because I struggled a bit with the face and stuff like that, like I normally do. I always kind of struggle with the face. I have to go through so many passes just to kind of get it right. But overall, I am happy with the way um, it turned out. I'm especially happy with the pose. Uh, it didn't look like I, uh, it was going um, really well initially. But um, I think I was able to salvage it, and I'm not. I'm still not completely happy with the way the first face turned out. But whatever, it is what it is, and it's the same kind of deal. I'm going from right from the beginning, blank piece of paper or screen, because I'm digitally doing this, uh, all the way to colors towards the end. And I'm not doing any backgrounds because uh, that would just take a billion years. And I think later on I might. Um, I'm gonna try to study up more on backgrounds, how to paint them properly, because I just suck at it. But it's it's going to be valuable to have for sure in, uh, in the long run. Because nowadays, I think um, like if you were to go work for Ubisoft and stuff like that, you couldn't just get away with drawing the characters alone. You would have to be kind of well-rounded. You'd have to be able to do backgrounds, even more so than character design and stuff like that. Because everybody can do character design, right? But not everybody can paint backgrounds uh, really well. So I'm going to need to kind of brush up on my skills there if I want to get hired by Ubisoft. I say Ubisoft because they're like not too far down the street from me and they won't give me the time or day. They won't look at my stuff at all. So, a bunch of snobs they are and I follow them and I, on Instagram and they have awesome parties and stuff. And I kind of picture myself in the background there. I mean, sometimes I'll cut a picture of my own face out, you know, superimpose it into the background. Yeah. I don't really do that. I'm actually really happy with uh, where I am right now in life. Um, I get to, if I did work for a big company, from what I hear, they kind of work you to death and you just don't have time for anything at all. It's just work, sleep, and work and sleep. And I just couldn't imagine doing that. Um, so I like to play video games. How about work, video games, drawing, and then sleep? That's perfect for me. I would love to do that. Um, anyway, okay. Again, I tend to babble on like non-stop, so I'm just going to stop there. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's been, uh, it's been great so far, so alright, I'll see you at the end. Oh wait, yeah, huh. she needs a friend, right. So here I am, just um, doing my thing that I do, you know, with the, um, the squares and everything like that. And it's, it's amazing how well this has worked out for me. It's um, you know, improved my workflow quite a bit, and uh, it's made drawing um, a lot more fun for me and less of a chore. Because um, I think that's the hardest part is coming up with with an initial pose. So, yeah, the squares, upper body, lower body thing has helped me quite a bit. It's all in the planning, right? Okay, <clears throat> just trying out different poses here. Um, this one here was, <laughs> yikes, it was a disaster. I don't know what the hell I was doing there. I uh, hope this thing's uh, capturing. Yeah, it looks like it's, um, recording. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm, look, I'm flying. Yeah, awesome. And again, like, sometimes I'll draw an arrow, uh, just to kind of, um, remind myself where the, where the character's looking. Everything is all, uh, for a purpose. Like, that's just, um, quick reference to not deviate from the initial plan. So um, everything is pre-planned, even even from where the uh, even where the characters are looking. Yeah, it's funny how I'm just learning that now uh, about planning my form, how important it is. All this time I've just been kind of um, organically drawing. I'd start from the face, I'd do a heavily detailed face and a head, and then I'd work myself um, work my way down. Um, organically and some people could do that um, really well 
I find that for me, I can't. Maybe it's because of um, I just don't draw enough, or I, I haven't been drawing enough, so I don't have a lot of experience behind me. But hopefully, I can get to that point where I can draw organically. Uh, but for for now, this you know I've become really accustomed to this type of drawing. As you can see, I'm just trying out everything under the sun. Uh, I think the, uh, the the pose that I ended up with looks completely different than everything here, and that's fine as well because um, you know so sometimes you can't stick to the uh, the game plan. But as long as the uh, I think I went with that one. As long as the initial um, proportions and and the initial pose is there, then um, that's important. That gets the job done. That's that's half the uh, battle, as um, GI Joe says it. You know. No, wait. What does GI Joe say? Um, learning is half the battle, which actually has nothing to do with what I'm doing right now. But I am learning, so it's uh, it's kind of related. And here I'm just uh, drawing in the um, you know based off of the rough. Um, sketches that I've done, the underdrawing, I'm going in and drawing the muscles. Um, I've always been really good at drawing uh, anatomy, like as far as muscles and where they are. I guess as a child, I I really focused on that. Um, just found it really interesting to just to kind of break down the anatomy. And uh, I've been, I guess it's it's I'm fortunate. <laughs> Weird, just because the uh, the legs are too long. It's, it's so I, I think I dropped the crotch a bit too. Yeah, and I drop the arm. There you go. That's a bit better. So that's that side by side. And again, I um, like I said before, I always draw the skull underneath it. It helps me um, create the form of the face. Puts it in 3D space. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm working pretty big here. This, can this canvas is enormous. 600 DPI. Um, I can't remember the exact dimensions, but it's it's bigger than um, this the paper size I have um, that I can print out. It's bigger than 13 by 19 inches, and it's at 600 DPI. It's a bit excessive. I usually work um you know nothing nothing above um well 300 at the at the least, right? But I don't know why I decided to work on such a high resolution. It's very strange. Here I'm just de detailing the face and everything like that. And in the end, I ended up fixing the, his face up quite a bit. I wasn't I wasn't happy with it at all. For some reason, I find it a lot easier to draw female faces um, in this anime kind of a style. Even though it's not completely anime, it's kind of like westernized, um, has a westernized twist to it. But I find it easier to um, to draw female figures, female faces in this in this kind of a anime style as opposed to male figures. Um. <laughs> Here I am drawing the uh, the suit again uh, just as a reference. I found it, it for me it helped a lot because I, I really suck at drawing suits and jackets and whatnot. This again, <laughs> that's my frustration is uh, kind of showing through. But yeah, I mean, at this point, it's all really rough. And then I just, uh, you know, as long as I get the, the general shape and the details, like the wrinkle, the wrinkles in the clothing, um, I can always go back in there and start detailing uh, afterwards. I dropped the crotch a bit. I realized the upper body and uh, to leg ratio was a bit off. Legs were a bit long. So... You can correct that when you know as you start tightening up the uh, the drawing. the The key is to be aware of it, right? A lot of people may not be aware of it, and they. Uh, I hear somebody coming downstairs. Do do do. I think it's the wife. Yep. What's up? What's up, Buttercup? What's up, Butternut? I'm doing the um the voiceover recording of my drawing and she's I uh, can't say it on uh, camera or on video not video audio what's up uh oh I've started it's gonna be a while uh in about it'll be done in about 
What's this at? Seven minutes now? So 30 minutes? Sorry. And there she goes. Okay, where am I? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna do this one take recording. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother redoing it over and over again because I don't I don't have time. I got one shot to do this and, and this is it, so Some people have been asking, like, where the hell have I been? <laughs> I think I covered it in my last uh, video. I've just been playing video games and, and really busy at work. So combination of those two things, I just have uh, zero time to do anything else. And plus being a, a family man. So that's really important as well. So to be honest, I don't know where I find time to do this at all. I'm just I've pretty much maxed out my entire day. You know, as they say, that there isn't enough hours in the day. And, and that uh, that applies to, that applies to me, unfortunately. Um there's no time. I don't even watch TV at all. Like I, I don't know what the hell's going on. All my friends are, are talking about The Walking Dead and all this stuff, and, and they're they're very careful around me to not spoil it. But I'm like, just go ahead. There's no chance I'm gonna uh, be able to get to it at all. I mean, uh, what I've been doing lately is as I'm working, I just watch a lot of Netflix, which is fine by me. I mean, uh, that's that's been my savior. And I've been watching a lot of anime, um, and um. You know, a lot of you guys might be disappointed in hearing this, but I'm actually not a huge fan of anime in general. Like, the, um, I I like video games, so um, yeah, I'm I'm like total old school. I used to watch a lot of um, uh, you know, Ninja Scroll and and stuff like that, and Fist of the North Star way back in the day, like super super ancient <laughs> anime. But you know, since then, I just uh, I just stopped completely. It just I don't know. I don't know what it is. But I'm slowly getting back into it now, actually. I'm reading a lot of manga. I'm uh, reading Gantz. Uh, it's so absurd and violent. I just I just love it. I think it's hilarious. And uh, One Punch Man, like I was saying before, I've been watching a lot of that. Um, and I get a kick out of that kind of stuff. So I guess it's, it's typical. I mean, those shows are kind of geared towards dudes. So maybe that's why I like it. But, you know, who knows? I used to watch a lot of Dragon Ball Z and all that stuff as well. And, um... Funny thing is, my mom actually got me into Dragon Ball Z. Like, how how freaking awesome is that? She's like, I used to, I I used to. I mean, I worked for a, a TV station that used to that had the rights to show Dragon Ball Z. And uh, when they started playing reruns, my mom started getting mad at me. She's like, Why don't you draw any more Dragon Ball? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, you went to school, you know, I paid all this money for you, and and you stopped drawing my <laughs> my Dragon Ball. I'm like, Mom, I I don't draw Dragon Ball. That's not what I do. I mean, we buy that from somebody else. And she's like. She still doesn't understand till this day. She's still mad at me for not drawing Dragon Ball. It's ridiculous. And um, yeah, I'm just uh, flipping the canvas. You know, you'll see me do this a couple times. <clears throat> it's very important just to, you know, get the proportions right because, you you know, you'll find out. Um, that's the advantage of drawing digitally as well. So you can do this um, really easily. So, and it just kind of paused. Oh, there we go. But I hate this face. I hate the way it's going. But um, I think off camera, I I was able to kind of fix it and get it to a point that I thought was somewhat decent. Like I said before, I'm I'm really weak at drawing male anime uh, characters unless it's like big and burly and and muscular. Like you know, like I said, my background is kind of Western um, uh, comic books as opposed to um, manga or anime. And I think in this recording, it starts to. Um, it's my my OBS malfunction and it started capturing um, stop motion as opposed to like this um, you know like a video which later on it actually looks pretty terrible and I don't blame you guys if you want to fast forward it because it just it's really annoying but I mean I recorded it and it, it did record stop motion and I, I put in all these hours so I wasn't gonna I'm not gonna delete it and redo it or anything I mean I couldn't anyway because I'm recording this as I'm drawing but it uh, that really pisses me off um, that that happened I think it starts to happen soonish. I think when I start coloring, that's when I started to really malfunction. Um, so I apologize for that, guys. Um, I know it's going to be annoying. It's, there's going to be a lot of um, instances on screen where you don't see me drawing at all, and then it'll just click, click to a point and it, where it's, um, you know, it looks like a lot of work has been done to it. So I apologize for that. But I mean, if you watch my last video of. Um, me coloring on it's it's very it's very similar to that anyway um, it's kind of amateur because I'm I'm learning how to color right now and uh, 
I'm not really efficient at it. I'm learning how to color, draw, and everything on this thing. It's ridiculous. But um, at the end of the day, I'm getting uh, I'm getting results uh, close to what I kind of imagined in my mind. I still have a bit to go, uh, um, but I have confidence I'll get there because only because I'm aware of my mistakes. Like I can see where I went wrong, and I can see that there is a uh, room for improvement. <clears throat> I'm just going in and drawing the hair, and this, uh, you know, the the hair, the hair on this character is a lot of fun to draw. It's because it's simple. It's just this kind of layered, feathered, you know, mop. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I kind of wish it was bigger though. I, I wanted to draw an afro. Maybe I'll draw afro samurai or something like that uh, soon, in one of my videos. So yeah. Um gonna let this play out looks boring I agree even looking at it now there's just something about it it's just too boring so I decided to kind of distort it a bit go in there sharpen the chin to kind of break up the anatomy to not have it be so so perfect because um sometimes that can be boring when everything is too you know it's it's too perfect the anatomy is too perfect the jaws exactly where it should be um, oftentimes I'll you know if if, if I see that it is too perfect and that's why it's boring I'll go in and I'll start distorting things and making it interesting again because um, like I said I speak a lot about contrasts and um, stuff like that so you need contrasting you know perfect lines contrast with not so perfect lines a hard line next to a soft line those things um, are very it's very important to keep that in mind when you're drawing Yeah, let me know how you feel about that. If you agree or disagree, um, I'd like to see uh, some of the work as well. So, some of your work, I should say, not some of the work. That's pretty. That didn't make any sense. Yeah, OBS is amazing. It's it's such a good screen capturing um, uh, software. I think there's a there's an option to like kind of donate money to them, and I think I will because um, I'd pay money for it, that's for sure, and I like to support you know where where I can. Um, I recently bought some brushes uh, from an artist. I, I can't remember his name, but it, uh, there was a link and I and it linked me to the website, and um, it said you can you can download it for free if you like, but um, if you can do if you can donate some money, then. Uh, that's appreciated as well and you know I could have easily just downloaded it because it's it's right there but I, I felt that I felt that you know this artist deserve deserve the money for for the hard work that he'd put into it so I donated like five dollars it wasn't much but I mean and you know it's something right and it's um and I, I try to I try to um support where I can Cause I know how hard it is to be an artist, man. It's it, it ain't easy. That's why these guys draw so much and they hustle and they, you know, they're. It's a it is a business, unfortunately. Like when you see ads and stuff like that on YouTube pop up, and I don't understand people who criticize that. Like um, it's it's what am I writing? All right, so before and after. So yeah, I mean that's it's a huge jump because I did a lot of this off screen. And I rejigged the face. So on the on the right hand side is the original one. It looked kind of boring to me. And so on the left hand side, just very small changes uh, to just kind of what did I do? I think I I sharpened the eyes a bit, I believe, and I elongated the nose and just distorted things, made the chin a bit sharper. Um, and I got it to a point where it's as good as I'll ever get it. Let's put it that way. For, with my lack of um, knowledge of drawing male faces in. Uh, um, in a manga or anime form. So I'm just, things aren't working out and I'm, uh, I'm cutting out the arms and I'll actually like that hand. I don't know why I erased it. Now it looks weird. What the frig? Uh, sometimes I make mistakes. Okay, now I went back to it because I, I should have kept that, but it doesn't really make sense to be honest. Why is he doing that hand? 
Like, unless he was holding a gun or something like that, right? And I don't think this character would hold a gun. He doesn't look like a gun tootin' type of character. Man. <laughs> I'm getting frustrated at this point. There you go. Hand on hip. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. What's, what's wrong with that? Now it's all cut up to pieces, right? Now the initial uh, plan was is completely out the window. But the overall pose, like how he's lunged, uh, how he's like lurched over, is still there. So I'm still sticking the game plan, just changing it up a bit. And I don't do this all in one shot. Like I mean, I'll do the lines and then I'll I'll stop recording, and then I'll, I'll wait. You know, maybe in the evening I'll come back to it. And each session is about, like I said. I think I said seven hours at first, but it actually net out to be, um, when I look at all the recordings uh, together and I'm editing it in um, um, Premiere, is it Premiere? One of those, I'm not really good at editing, but when I'm doing that, it's um, it nets out to be about five, five hours each drawing and I compress it, like I ramp it up seven times speed um, so, so it falls just a little under or right on 40 minutes. Um, but yeah, what was I saying before? I, um, I'll i take long breaks in between them, and I'll return back. And when I return back, I'll see my mistakes. I'll see it more with a, a clear mind, because I hadn't been staring at it for uh, you know a couple hours. It's, uh, it gives you some perspective. And um, by the end of it, I'll have like about eight videos, and I'll stitch them all together. So yeah. I don't think I could sit through and do um, a five-hour... I mean, I could maybe, but I just don't have the time. I just, um, you know, things come up and my wife will bother me or my kid will bother me and I'll have to take them to the park or we'll have to go, you know, to a, just for a walk or something like that. So, yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't be possible. I, I'll never have five hours to myself ever, in, uh, you know, and I've I've accepted it. It's fine. <laughs> I'm doing this and it's pretty late at night because it's the only time I can do it. I have to, you know, I get home. I work out, I eat, and then um, I play with my son, and then I put him to sleep. And then it, by then, it's pretty late at night, because uh, my commute from work is um, is about an hour and a half, I would say, uh, one way. So it takes, you know, I travel three hours a day just to get to work, every day. Like, that's both ways, though. Hour and a half there, hour and a half back. So I'm left with, like, zero time at all. So no excuses, guys. I mean, like... um. You just have to, I guess you just have to put in the work, you know, there's no, there's no shortcuts. It's like the gym, right? A lot of people want to take that pill that makes them, uh, the weight loss pill, but there's just no, there's just no easy way out. There's just hard work. There's just like, um, you just got to get up and work out. If you don't have time to work out, you know, in the daytime, then you have to wake up at, um, 5 a.m. and just, and just do it. It's, it's the same thing with drawing. I guess you have to make time. And uh, that's been the hardest part for me right now, is making time. So I'm just going in here and I'm, I'm darkening up the lines. I'm adding thick lines uh, next to thin lines. Um, this is this is a lot of fun for me. When I start to see things and it's starting to take form, and I just all I have to do is go in there and add a uh, different weight, like line weights, um, next to each other and just clean up the lines. It's This is pretty much brainless work right now. It's just fun because you get to actually see it come into come into form. <clears throat> I hope my voice isn't too annoying. I know I'm really monotone. Like um, when I <laughs> when I play this stuff back and I'm listening to it, I'm like, who the hell wants to listen to me? Like I mean, it's, I I always sound like I have the life zapped out of me, but I don't. It's just I'm I'm a very monotone person. I don't smile a lot. Um, I have a very dry sense of humor. <laughs> if you notice, uh, it doesn't um, doesn't mean anything. It's just it's just the way I am. I'm enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun doing these things. You know, it's kind of like Eeyore, right? When he's like, "I'm having fun." So yeah, this is this is uh, taking form, and I'm I'm at this point I'm digging it a lot. I put his um his hands in his pocket, like he's kind of lurched over, like a cool dude, you know, just um. And I, and I like that. I like that so far. I like the way it's going. Um, 
by the end of it, I wasn't really happy with the face, but I'm, I was pretty happy with everything else. Just roughing out the details of the shoes. And I hate drawing feet and shoes. Look how small those feet are. I think I end up, yeah, I do make it bigger. So you know what they say, right? <laughs> big feet, big shoes. Bad joke. <laughs> Yeah, and I never used to do this before. I never used to rough out, you know, I just kind of used to just make it up and draw organically and just go right into detailing right away. And it was a big mistake because um, usually when I do things that way, the drawing ends up taking a lot longer because I'm too worried about the details and I'm erasing and trying to fix it all the time. But, you know, by roughing it out like this, I get the basic shape underneath and then I just go over it and solidify the lines it's all there the the data is all there you just, you know you just got to trace it and I, I just keep saying it over and over again but you know it's I can't stress it enough it, it's super important meh see that shoe sucks I think I just ended up coloring it all in black later on just to kind of like put it in the shadow or something like that But yeah, I, I just love drawing folds in, in clothing. Um, I'm still trying to get pretty good at it. Like, I mean, I, I guess I'm decent. I'm not that bad, but I'm, I'm trying to get better at it. I, I think it's it's so fun to draw for me. <clears throat> bloop, bloop. Happy faces. I should have made one a happy face. I like to throw in little, like, things like that. See, I'm digging that pose a lot. I think I actually end up changing it up a bit later on. Yeah, I do. I, I changed uh, one of the legs. That's it. That's showing from rough, like rough sketches, to the pose that I chose. And proportionately, next to the other character or on, on I just had to make sure that it, it proportionally fit in the same universe. Um... Now I'm, I think I'm drawing the logo on the shirt. And I'm going to do that flat and then I'm going to distort it and I'm going to place it on. It's better that way than just to... Because it's a decal, right? Um, you know, it's, it's easier to do it this way than just to kind of draw it on the shirt. This is my bread and butter though. I'm a graphic designer. Like, um, this stuff comes easy to me. I use a lot of masks and stuff like that. And, Except this, like typing on a path for some reason caused me, um, almost made me throw, throw my keyboard. I just couldn't figure this out because, um, this is Photoshop. I, I usually design in Illustrator. Illustrator is a lot easier to, to do graphic design on. And I probably, um, in hindsight, I probably should have switched to Illustrator and done it there, but whatever. This took a bit longer than I'd, I'd wanted to, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm competent enough to actually make it work. I just have to spend more time on it, trying to figure out the controls and what everything does. So I think at some point now, it's going to start going to like this um, stop motion business, which is not bad. I made it through over half the video without it doing that. So not not so bad. It's just you guys are going to have to suffer through the second, maybe half an hour of it or something like that, where it starts to look terrible. <clears throat> Zung, zum, zum again. Yeah, I just ended up doing each uh, each uh, letter separately, and I was gonna distort it and move it around. Um, I you know I decided to do this because I couldn't figure out how to type on a path properly. It wasn't working out for some reason, so I did this, and it, I thought it I think it looks better because you get I can distort each individual letter independently and make it more dynamic like as you're seeing right now so I'm happy that it worked out that way 26 minutes and 29 seconds these videos are gonna be super long with my intro and, and my outro plus the speed paint um, but I don't care a lot of you guys have said that you don't mind long videos I mean you just set it in the background oh yeah I guess I'm proud of that um, you guys a lot of you guys said you don't mind long videos you just kind of set it in the background and you know kind of have it playing while you're doing other things which is cool. I never thought of it that way, actually. 
but um, what I learned is that oh, there's the on cover <laughs> I did. Colors next, boo. Um, yeah, this is where I start drawing the other. I didn't like that leg back because it. There's nothing wrong with it, but it just looked too. Like everybody does that, right? Like the walk. So, I I kind of wanted to change it up a bit. Let's erase that. I don't delete it. I move it over to the side, and I still I still think I have it. So if I ever wanted to kind of switch back to that original uh, pose, I can I can do that easily. But for this time, I I rough that in there, and I'm like, wow, this looks pretty cool. He kind of looks like the Joker, you know, when the Joker walks. It's kind of like doo doo doo. Uh, so I really dig that. Yeah, this angle is very difficult to do for a foot. Uh, I probably should have used the reference for it, but at this point I just wanted to kind of get it done and uh, I get it to a point where I think it looks kind of decent, but it was still kind of janky looking. <laughs> I'm trying everything here like, oh, how does this look? You know, in the end I think I just, uh, yeah, I get frustrated. I think I just end up distorting the foot up a bit and making it look like he has Ronald McDonald feet. Probably shouldn't have done that. That kind of looks weird, but I think I settled with that like an idiot. <clears throat> See, I don't know when I'm going to actually get to playing this game. Uh, like I said, I'm terrified because I'm going to sink way too many hours into it. Um, right now, I'm currently playing uh, uh, Breath of the Wild, which I think is just absolutely incredible game. And I'm super impressed by the uh, Nintendo Switch, actually. I don't understand the criticism online. Like people are unhappy with the graphics and stuff like that. What do you expect? It's it's like a handheld. Um, and as a handheld, it to me I'm impressed by the graphics. It looks like a, it feels like a console, uh, you know, in a handheld form. Um, people expected it to be as powerful as like as a PS4. Um, you know that's unrealistic. It's it would chew up the battery in like a minute if it was as powerful as the the PS4. So. Eventually we will get there, but I don't think the techn the the, the uh, technology is quite there yet. This is essentially it's um it's an Android device, right? It's an, I believe. Yeah. So I mean, when you consider that, th there's nothing on an iPhone or any Android device that can, d you know, pump out graphics, um, even close to the Nintendo Switch, as far as I'm concerned. At least I haven't played any games, um, on my iPhone, that that come close to it. And even if the graphics do come close, the controls are very basic. Everything's very linear, and it just doesn't feel the same at all. So, yeah, I'm, I'm super like impressed by uh, by it so far, and I uh, can't wait to see the games come out for it. I think my next one's obviously going to be the uh, Mario Kart, and what is it, eight or something like that? It's the remake of the uh, the last one. So I think it just kicked into like stop motion mode. Um, which is a piss off because, yeah, it's it's annoying. <clears throat> it's kind of ironic. I start talking about the, you know, the switch and lack of power, and now it looks like it's running at like point something frames a second. But same thing. I'll go in and I'll you know, I'll color in the lines, um, where the face and the hair are, where that you know it should be light. I'll color it in uh, lighter and with a jacket and wherever it's dark I'll keep it darker so this is what I mean super frustrating looks like I'm just doing nothing and then BAM you, uh, apologize for that guys um, it's technology you know sometimes it doesn't cooperate so um, hopefully I don't run into this any more often it could be a setting that I have on my OBS that's making it do this or I, I don't know what the hell's going on. But let's hope it doesn't happen again because it's, um, I want to provide good content, you know. Um, and I hope you guys find this useful. Like I said before, it's, um, it's a lot of fun for me to do. So, for selfish reasons, I'm going to keep doing it. And, um, even if it isn't useful for anybody, uh, I, I enjoy it, so. <clears throat> So 
See, it's coming together. I mean, uh, it's cool, you know. I, I didn't know that I could do this. Towards the end, when everything starts to come together, the lines are looking sharp. <clears throat> starts looking like a finished piece. It, it's, you know, I start becoming, um, I, I start getting happy. I want to do like, uh, you know what I might do? Um, I want I want to ta tackle uh, maybe a comic book character like X Men or something like that, but do it in this style. I think that'd be so awesome. And if I pull it off, I, you know, I'm gonna shoot it over to Marvel and see what they think. I uh, I don't know anybody at Marvel, but I know people who can get my stuff there, which is pretty cool. I know some um, I know some people that uh. I shouldn't say in high places or anything like that. You I mean it just makes me sound pretentious, right? But um, I, I do have some some connections that can get my stuff seen. I just have to get off my ass and and do these things. Yeah, and I love going in and adding details and stuff like that. And I'd mentioned it before. There's um certain wrinkles and pockets in the face where in the past I would go in and I, I would draw them but now I know that if I'm gonna be coloring it I'll save it for the coloring part like the uh, the shadow underneath the nose before I would just go in there and I draw that but now I, I know that it's gonna be it's more successful it looks better if it's just um if it's resolved in the in the coloring phase the the, the details around the eyes as well um, before I would just go in there and draw those but this is more effective to go in there and um, create the lines through color usage if that makes sense or not hmm I'm just looking at this and I'm like hmm damn it's unfortunate because I use this um, as reference as well like I, I can look back at it and see how I did things and what I did wrong but um, this is kind of useless the way it's kind of <clears throat> just doing the stop motion thing oh yeah yeah I don't know why I'm like I've gotten really um I've gotten back into video games and manga and stuff like that there was a point in my life like a good five years where I didn't do um I didn't do anything. I didn't do any drawings. I didn't play any video games. Um, the only thing I was really interested in was working out, going to school, and um, meeting girls. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody goes through that phase, right? I think it's university, um, where you just kind of stop doing things that you thought you should be doing, because you know you prioritize other things, right? Which is fine. It's all a part of growing up. But. Um, you know, some of my friends never never did that. They just focused on their artwork, and they're really far in life now. I know a couple of concept artists that um, work for Blizzard, and um, who are those guys that do League of Legends? Um, what's that? What's their company? I don't even doesn't come to mind right now. But uh, some of my some of my friends they they're concept artists there which is totally freaking crazy it's it's amazing and I'm I'm a bit envious but that's only because um that's my fault right and they were focused and they just kept their eye on the prize and they just kept plugging away at it and uh, it's obvious they have skills so um, if you feel that you can you can do it if, if you have the skills to, to pull it off then if you stick to if you stick with it long enough, people will notice. <clears throat> and um, you got to be professional about it. You got to make deadlines, and you got to be reliable. And that's my fault too. Like I'm not the most um, because I guess at the time when I was doing this, when I was drawing comic books, I was trying to juggle um, two jobs. Well, well I, one one main job actually, my my nine to five, and I was doing comic books on the side. So as soon as I was done that, I'd come home. And then I'd work till like two, three in the morning, just drawing comic books, and it wore the hell out of me. And um, I was very ambitious, and I was young, but it's just too much. Like uh, you live and you learn, right? 
Like, if I was to look back at it now, I probably should have never taken that gig. But at the same time, it, it gave me some notoriety. Um, so, and it, it was an experience. And without that experience, I wouldn't know what I was, uh, what I was uh, capable of or wasn't capable of. So, it all amounts to the, the end goal. I mean, I'm here now and I'm doing this. Um, so, I'm trying to slowly get back into it. But, I mean, what was I saying before? It's, um, sometimes it's better to be uh, reliable and do decent work than it is to be, like, super, super skilled but unreliable. So, uh, I can't stress that enough. I know I know some artists that are, um, that are amazing um, that do other things. Like, they'll go out drinking and they'll prioritize other things vacations and whatnot above their artwork but they're amazing artists like na like um just skillfully uh just skillfully just skill wise um just totally you know raw talent right and then there are other guys who may not have that raw talent but they work so hard they work every day they put hours and hours in and they're they're farther in life like uh they're they're doing concept art they're doing comic books they're doing all these things and um it's only through hard work so and I wish I had that in me, uh, but, um, you know, I wish I had that in me when I was younger, when I could have done that. But now I feel that my hands are a bit tired. Um, I feel that because I have a family now and I have a mortgage and I have a, it's just almost impossible for me. So, but this YouTube thing is all, I control it 100%. And that's why, um, that's why it's working out because I don't have to answer anybody there's no deadlines really um so if i fail if i fail at this the only person that suffers is, is really me and, and nobody else so um that's really reassuring to me yeah and with uh, here here i'm just going in and I, and I drew these um straight basic lines and i was uh you know you can easily go in and freehand brush it in there but I find those. I found this a lot easier to just kind of um, draw the pattern first, and then kind of distort it around the leg to to get that um, the plaid uh, pattern on the pants. And it just looks like it just froze in there. But I reassure you, it's it's not. It's it's still running. Either that or it really did stop. God, I hope not. Nope, it's still running. I have forty three. 42 seconds left in this video, so it might have just stopped there. I don't think it... It hasn't moved in a while. So that's a bit of a piss off. Oh, there we go. And that's it. I think that's the final, and I'm saving it. <clears throat> so overall, I am, I'm somewhat happy. I'm, I'm not happy about the face. I'm still terrible at drawing eyes and stuff like that. But um, I like the pose. I, I like it a lot, actually. It's got a nice movement to it. It's just got this arching thing. And now it just kicks back into drawing mode. And I'm putting them beside my other drawing. And there we have it. So that's it. That was my speed paint drawing slash everything from beginning to end of uh, Ryuji Sakamoto. I keep looking that way because it's on my monitor and I don't remember the name because I haven't played the game. Uh, I'm such a poser. You guys are probably wondering, do I even like Persona or is it... I do. I'm just scared. I'm just scared. I know that if I start it, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to draw. I'm not going to eat. Uh, I probably won't go to work. And that's kind of important, right? Uh, I mean, eating and going to work is kind of essential for living altogether. But yeah, I hope you like it. Um, it was a lot of fun to draw. So um, for my next video, I'm thinking, because uh, of this whole um, One Punch Man thing, I'm still kind of riding on that. So I might do a, I might do that. I might do that. I might, yeah, I think I want to do that. That should be fun. It, this couldn't go bad, right? I mean, it's One Punch Man. It's pretty awesome. Or I might do Gantz. Gantz, oh, I just watched the, the, uh, the CG. I don't know if you guys seen that, but I mean... Uh, plot holes all over the place just terrible storytelling but it's essentially 
a video game cinematic the entire thing and it's so gruesome and awesome at the same time so I might do some uh, fan art based on that uh, yeah that sounds like it'd be a lot of fun too actually drawing all those demons and stuff like that that might be cool so I might do that so it's either a Saitama or a Gans O something from there maybe an Oni or something like that slicing open people eating their guts delicious okay anyway thanks again for watching the video I really appreciate it guys please give it a thumbs up uh, a follow if you if you if you can that would even be better and a comment uh, let me know what I'm doing wrong if I could do things better uh, audio quality is um, I know it sucks I'm sorry about that but uh, I just really don't have a lot of time to edit these things together I have all the equipment I have all the like external I have a lav mic and all that stuff and I can hook it up but it just takes so long it's um and I don't have time I have like you know a couple of hours at best um, a week to do this stuff and um, yeah these drawings like I said they take up about seven hours of my time it's pretty consistent like the on took up seven hours and the Ryuji took about seven hours as well so I'm expecting that's pretty much the uh, gonna be a standard cuz um yeah I'm I'm trying to rush through it I'm working pretty quick but uh, I'm still getting some good results from it I think it's a, a nice trade-off um, and I'm still talking anyway okay thanks again and uh, do this thing like it. Bye.